On page S17, uh, I just wanted to make uh, speak a little bit about these drugs right here, because they are especially relevant in dentistry and dental hygiene. I think you've heard of them. They, uh, they include Fosamax, Actimel, and Oponevo. These are known as the bisphosphonate drugs. They are prescribed uh, to people as they get older, especially postmenopausal women, to reduce the probability of osteoporosis. So in elderly people, especially postmenopausal women, they become very susceptible to reduced uh, bone density and oste uh, related to osteoporosis. That's because of a drop in the estrogen hormone level after menopause. Uh, up until about 15 years ago, when women would approach menopause, they used to prescribe estrogen hormone replacement therapy. But taking estrogen postmenopausally does slightly increase the risk of strokes. So a lot of doctors became very reluctant to prescribe estrogen in postmenopausal women. But you still have to have this, you have this problem then with the drop in the estrogen hormone level after menopause around the age of 50 of developing osteoporosis. And as the bones become weak and more brittle, that's why there's an increased risk of a broken hip, which is very common in elderly people, especially elderly women. And a broken hip, of course, is a, a misnomer. It's really not a broken hip or pelvis. It's a break in the femur where the neck of the femur breaks, but anyhow. So uh, they, these drugs, how do they work? These drugs inhibit osteoclasts. Now you remember there are osteoblast cells that uh, increase uh, deposition of calcium in the bones, increasing bone uh, density. And there are osteoclasts that break down bone tissue that cause bone resorption. So these drugs inhibit the osteoclasts reducing the bone resorption or breakdown of bone tissue to slow it down. So uh, that's why they're, they're important. Now why this is relevant to dentistry is not only in terms of maintaining bone density of the maxilla and mandible, uh, but because of a potential adverse effect. So we know that uh, patients who take high levels of these uh, bisphosphonate drugs especially when taken intravenously, I uh, have an increased risk of necrosis of the mandible. Now you might ask, well, who would be taking these bisphosphonate drugs intravenously? And the answer is patients with metastatic bone cancer. So patients with metastatic uh, bone cancer uh, do take these drugs, uh, but uh, uh, it can lead to problems. So I, I would suggest you read over this article. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. This is from the Mayo Clinic. It is one of my go-to websites for clinical information that is considered highly authoritative, a good source. They talk about osteoporosis and bone modeling and how to keep bones healthy. And uh, they talk about, uh, on page four, uh, estrogen hormone therapy, which is no longer so much done. And then they talk about the use of intravenous uh, bisphosphonate drugs and how uh, they may cause or lead to necrosis of the mandible. So if you look on the last page, page nine, here's the bottom line. <clears throat> is there a connection between taking Fosamax and osteonecrosis can, is it okay to take these bisphosphonate drugs? Here's the bottom line, according to Mayo Clinic, yes, it is safe. Fosamax is safe for the majority of people who take it, but it may pose a risk of a rare jaw disorder called osteonecrosis of the jaw in certain people. Uh, who, which people? The majority of cases of osteonecrosis, which means the bone uh, literally uh, disintegrate. Okay. All people with cancer who are receiving chemotherapy and had be, been given intravenous bisphosphonates to treat the cancer that had spread or metastasized. 
A small number of cases of osteonecrosis of the jaw have been reported in people taking oral bisphosphonates, such as Fosamac. These have been primarily associated with active dental disease or recent dental procedures, such as tooth extractions. But uh, the risk of developing osteonecrosis of the jaw due to bisphosphonate use is very low in people who have, don't have bone cancer or major significant dental problems. 